my name is Ricardo De Matos. I want to be working with Mark here and going through the future mobility experience with you. Uh, previous to getting into the vehicle, we actually had already registered and summoned the vehicle so it knows where we're going and it, the system already knows who we are. Now we sit down and get started. AWS Future Mobility Vehicle has been reserved. ETA is less than five minutes. Detecting occupants. So we're using the driver facing cameras to actually look at the uh, occupants that are in the vehicle and we're successfully detecting them. This is using computer vision models that were trained in AWS and are running locally on the vehicle. So we can detect the passengers and even when the vehicle is not connected and it happens very quickly. Hello Ricardo Mark. Press start when you are ready to go. So before we do that, you notice that we have the temperatures that are set to what we previously registered, some of the cabin lighting, and because we're logged in with our accounts, it will, the preferences that we taught the system over time uh, will come with us uh, in throughout this experience. So let's go. Hello. I calculated the optimum route for the most autonomous driving time. I will let you know when you can take your hands off the wheel. Have a safe drive. So a couple things that are happening here. So the system obviously knew where we were going because we had summoned it, we told, we told it its destination. And we left the home, and by leaving the home, we triggered a geofence-based routine that automatically locks the doors, uh, activates the security system, and brings down the thermostat to a, uh, a lower temperature. This is just one example of how you can create proactive experiences that are contextually relevant using the data from AWS and all the capabilities of Alexa. Some of the other things that you can also see here is I can actually look at some of my smart home features and the status of my home. By the way, you typically order coffee about this time. Would you like me to order coffee when we get close? Uh, yes. Okay, I will order it when we are close so it's hot when we arrive. Great. So in this case, we're using machine learning recommendations based on past behaviors to automate some of the features. So in this case, it was ordering coffee. Now, you'll notice it asked if we should order coffee when we said yes. It's not gonna order it right away. It's actually gonna wait until we're about five minutes away so it's hot and ready when we arrive. We're in manual driving mode right now, um, so the driver has to pay attention to the road. But I'm the passenger. I can actually enjoy some in entertainment. So, Alexa, play the Grand Tour on Fire TV. Getting the Grand Tour from Prime Video. So I'm able to watch TV, but if the driver looks over and tries to watch TV, you'll see that the system is tracking his gaze, and I'll actually pause the video to warn him to pay attention to the road. Autonomous drive is available for the next 26 minutes. Do you need help on how to enable it? Yes. You can start autonomous drive by pressing and holding both buttons on the steering wheel. Your car is now in autonomous drive. I'll let you know when you need to take over. Enjoy the ride. So now that we're in autonomous mode, we've seen that our Fire TV video has moved to the center, and we can both enjoy the, the video without tracking the driver's gaze. I can also do other things like showing you the, the cloud cam. Alexa, show me the back door. Okay. You can see what's going on in your home. Sensors are detecting a bumpy road. You may want to change the driving mode. Should I automatically enable that driving mode the next time we're on this route? Yes. Okay. So this is a situation of actually training the vehicle to recognize different scenarios. In this case, the vehicle recognized that we were in a bumpy road based on the sensors of the vehicle, so it made the suggestion to change in the comfort mode. But when the driver selected comfort mode, it also asked if we would want to remember this for the next time we come down this road. That way we won't have to go through that again, and we'll just have a comfortable ride without even detecting the change of suspension settings. Animals have been detected on the road. I am going to report the incident for others. So in this case, the vehicle sensors detected something on the road, and it automatically created a report so that other drivers will know about it and won't have to make such an aggressive move to get around it. But we also had the ability to cancel that report in case the sensors may have detected something that was a false positive. Autonomous drive is ending soon. Do you need help on how to disable it? Yes. You can stop autonomous drive by pressing and holding both buttons on the steering wheel. Okay, you're driving now. The speed limit is 45 miles per hour. We'll reach our destination in five minutes. 
So what just happened here is that it was because we have such a long lead time for takeover, we actually are able to engage the assistant in giving us context for why takeover is needed and even provide additional instructions to the driver on how to do the takeover. We are nearing your destination. I am going to order your coffee now. Welcome back to Coffee Stop. Your order is a medium latte. Your total with tax is $4.90. I will complete the purchase with Amazon Pay. So in this case, we're now nearing the destination where the coffee shop is. So the system remembered that we wanted to order our coffee. It gave us the ability to cancel in case we changed our mind for some reason, but then it actually invoked the skill to order the coffee and used Amazon Pay to pay for it. We have reached your destination. It is now safe to exit the vehicle. Thank you for using the future mobility experience. Now the journey is done. We can leave the vehicle. So this is a demonstration of the, of the AWS future mobility experience and the use cases of from registration to summoning the vehicle to driving manually, autonomously, and using entertainment and smart home features in between.